Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the last 16 round. Ooh, we got I mean, Matt, eight more matches to go before the quarter final. And yes, we will get the last 16 done this week because there'll be two matches per video. And in this particular video, we are going to see a rematch between Cryonova and Ultimate Dino Queen. And then, Nopey going up against Shadow Force. And without further ado, let's get on with the first match. Yes, you may realise no videos went up yesterday, because I was going to put Primal Carnage up yesterday, but I, I decided to give it a I decided to make, try and make my Megalosaurus mod for Jurassic World Evolution a new species. And did I succeed? Well, I got close. So I'm going to try again later, and hopefully I'll succeed. But anyway, back to this video. <coughs> Here's the matchup that probably won Ultimate Dino Queen their first matchup in the group stage. The Lampiosaurus up against the Uteraptor. And as I said, this type matchup pretty much won the match for Ultimate Dino Queen, but it was quite a close game, if I remember correctly. So let's hope for another close encounter. Wait, what? Oh, oh, they've changed the random number generator a bit. Okay. That's going to throw me off. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good start from the Lambiosaurus, though. There is a tiebreaker. <coughs> oh my god, that's a pathetic amount of damage. Yeah, see what I mean by the type advantage? And look how much damage this hit will do. Oh, I'm a Dino Queen on top so far. Oh, and here comes another hit from the Uteraptor. Uteraptor making quick work of Lambiosaurus. Yep, and that is a Lambiosaurus. Unsurprisingly, dead and buried. And unsurprisingly, Ultima Dino Queen once again takes a 1-0 lead against Cryonova. Alright, as for Crown Over second dino, we have a Kralophosaurus. Gotta have his work cut out here because the Uteraptor barely took a hit. Can the Cryo pull it back for Crown Over? Or can Ultimate Dino Queen start to pull away? Oof, I don't know why my throat's so cloggy today. Ooh, that's a hit from the Cryo. The Cryo getting the hit. Did a lot more work than Lambiosaurus did. Ooh, but the crit from the Uteraptor. Oh, look at that damage. The Mayfly has been triggered. If that Mayfly activates, it will be a 2-0 lead for Ultimate Dino Queen. And well, it's not going to activate. At least not yet. Speaking of activation... The secret move has been triggered. But there is no secret move yet. Oh, but the Crownophosaurus does get the hit, takes out the Uteraptor, and levels the score for Crownova. However, Ultimate Dino Queen still has the lead. As her second dino, the Epistocela Claudia, comes in. And if this Epistocela Claudia gets off hits. You can bet your ass that that Shockwave will activate. And if Shockwave activates, that will tighten Ultimate Dino Queen's grip on this match. Ooh, I tell you what, though. A Snow Crystal from the Cryo. We haven't seen too many of those this tournament. And this will do damage. Oh, look at that all of a sudden. Instantly even in the score. Oh, this crowd's on a roll! A blizzard smash as well. And all of a sudden, Cryonova taking the lead. Boosh, boosh. Okay. I got my notes out this time, I'm prepared. Because as for Ultima Dino Queen's third dino, we have a Super Rajasaurus. 
This beast was responsible for winning the match for Ultimate Dino Queen against Crown over in the group stage, and she's going to need it to do it again. But this Crownophosaurus is looking on a, on a stroll. Ooh, but the Rajasaurus getting a hit. Ending the Crownophosaurus and evening the score. Oh, this is what we want to see. It all comes down to this. As for Crown Over's third dino, we have a Super Triceratops. Oh no, Super Chomp, sorry. <coughs> and the Awaken Mode will be on free, which means I suspect whoever gets off the Awaken Mode hit will win this match. Although I don't think it matters at this point, because your, your health gets halved anyway, so I don't know if it I don't think that'll matter. But we'll just have to see. Ooh, Chomp opening up with the hit. Not too much damage dealt, though. Oh, that's a tie. And that's another tie. I'd probably say that suits Crown over more because they have more health. Nah, not there. Ooh, but the Magma Blaster suits Queen, though. And there's the cryo for the light recovery. Big damage coming, Chomp's way. Oh, look at that. Ultima Dino Queen tightening her grip on this match and a Volcano Burst as well. It won't finish off Chomp, but it will pretty much assure that Ultima Dino Queen, all she needs is a tie to win the match. Oh, but Chomp gets the hit. You know what that means next round? It's awakening time. <coughs> it all comes down to this. A hit or a tie from Queen will win the match for her. Crown over gets a hit and they will win. Oh, Crown over. Oh, she. Oh, they haven't. Oh, oh, never mind. But look at this. Oh, this is what we want to see, isn't it? High quality match from two high quality teams. Don't, don't mess up now, RNG. Oh, Ultimate Dino Queen is snatched. Just like in the first matchup, Ultimate Dino Queen snatches the match away from Cryonova and books her place in the quarterfinal. Oh, that's, I gotta say, commiserations to Cryonova because they did so well. You know, they barely got out the group stage, but they did so well in the knockouts and were very unlucky there. But Ultimate Dino Queen, definitely one to watch. Right, we'll move on to our next match of this video, but I don't know how it's going to eclipse that match. Alrighty then, in this matchup, we see Nopi taking on Shadow Force. Ooh, this could be an intriguing match. Up first for Nopi, we have a tag. And this has definitely been the MVP for Team Nopi. We've seen what it can do. We've seen how impressive it can be. And if it's any and if it's anywhere near that level again in this matchup, Shadow Force might as well pack up his dinos and go home. However, also impressing in the blue corner for Shadow Force, we have an Alpha Rajasaurus. And this Rajasaurus has definitely been a force to be reckoned with. So Nopi will have to be careful. What I will say is that Nopi, I would probably make this the considerate favourite because they will have two type-up advantages against Shadow Force. So this will be the toughest match Shadow Force has faced so far in this tournament. And if they win this match, I'd say Shadow Force has a good chance of going all the way. The winner of this match will take on Ultimate Dino Queen. Ooh, nope, you're getting off the hit. It's a crit and a defense boost. We've seen this before. Toughening that hide. Limiting the damage the tank will take. Oh, that's a tie. I, I don't think Shadow Force will mind ties too much because that could be a good way to wear down tank's health. However, tank does have more health than the Rajasaurus, so... Several ties will result in Rajasaurus dying, but 
this will definitely help Shadow Force a Magma Blaster. But the Crystal Crusher has been triggered, and given how many ties we've seen so far in this matchup, you wouldn't be surprised to see it activate. And yep, as I suspected, the Crystal Crusher being activated along with Defense Boost. And speaking of defense, Crystal Crusher will remove Rajasaurus's defenses and make it more vulnerable to damage. Of course, that doesn't really matter at this point because one hit's going to kill him anyway. Ooh, a tie though. Not enough to finish him off. However, that hit will do it. And no beat will have a slight 1-0 lead over Shadow Force. Which is not good for Shadow Force because up next we have a Baryonyx. And this Baryonyx will have to face Nopey's second Dino if it gets that far, which is Chomp. And then Shadow Force's third dinosaur, Gygus, will have to face up against Isosaurus. So ideally for Shadow Force, he needs to kill Tank quick. He needs to get the next hit, really. If Nopey keeps getting hits off with Tank, then I think, yeah... Nope, you'll win. And that is exactly what Shadow Force does. Getting off that hit on tank. I don't know if it'll be lethal though because of the defenses. Yep, yeah, it is lethal. As for Nopey second, I know, we have a chomp. This chomp will be at the type advantage against the Barry. So I would say Nopey is, despite the scores being level, I'd say Nopey does have the advantage here. Sugoi! And all of um, Baryonyx's moves are water moves. However, as a saving grace for Shadow Force, only one of Chomp's moves is a lightning move and that's Counter Blitz, so... He might, he might get away with this one. There's a crit from the Barry. But look at the damage there. Oh, Super Chomp, sorry. Uh, wake a mode on. Da, 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 three, I think. Okay, let's just enter the codes. Four. Ooh. Hit from the chomp, and here comes the light recovery. With Buddy Nopey. Ah, a wake a mode on three. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that. That was. Hang on. Can we just hang on? Can we just put. That was from a crit from Baryonyx. And Chomp just healed it up like it was nothing. Back to the match. Okay, so that was twice. Like, you might as well not bother Baryonyx. If Chomp gets the next hit, he's just going to recover all that health. <laughs> okay, maybe not, because that was a bit more damage. But the counter blitz there is perfect timing because it's awakening time. Oh, well, actually, that means nobody's going to get a big damage off no matter what. So despite Baryonyx winning this exchange, the Counter Blitz is going to say no. However, this might actually suit Shadow Force because Chomp's health will be halved like that and I think one Water Sword might kill him. So I think that kind of helped Shadow Force more than Nopey. And, uh, yeah, this, yeah, this is Futaba Cannon, so... Out of nowhere, Shadow Force is going to have a 2-1 lead. So, the Awaken mode, I think, did backfire there. Alright, as for Shadow... F no, Nopey's third die. No, we have an Isosaurus. And I probably say now that Shadow Force actually has an opening. If he can get land a couple of hits on this Isosaurus, I think he'll win this match. Of course, if the Isosaurus gets off the next hit, I'm pretty sure the Baryonyx will die. Well, especially if it's a crit. Speaking of crits, and the defense boost as well. Oh, the Baryonyx survived! Can this Barry land some cheeky damage? The answer to that is no. However, it did take a chunk of Isosaurus' health, so... No, I'll give it credit for that. 
Okay, as for Shadow Force's third dino, we have Spatral Armor Gigas, and we haven't seen too much of this beast. But it's definitely going to have to pull its work out here if Shadow Force wants to advance. It's definitely got the power, but can it get the hits? Oh, that's not good. That's an Aqua Whip. That means a lot of damage is going to come Gigas' way. Boosh. Yeah, look at that. Almost half its health gone. Two more hits and nope, he will win. Oh, that's a tie. I think that will help. That will actually help Shadow Force, though. And it will fill up that bar as well. So Spectral Lancer will probably be enough to finish off the Gigas. No, the Isosaurus. However, oh, Gigas gets that. Does does can Shadow Force pull this off? The ties definitely helped him, despite him being low on health. Oh my God! Look at that. that was a pitiful amount of damage. I th think he might even need two more hits just to kill it. Oh no! Oh, no! no. <laughs> The Isosaurus proving too powerful to take down. And Shadow Force, a fine contestant in this tournament, has been eliminated. And that is kind of a shame because they did so well. And they were one of the dark one of my dark horses, Shadow Force. And I think I think the matchup really screwed him over, because if he had a better matchup, I would probably say they would have got for it. However, they didn't get a good matchup. And Nopi did, so Nopi will be advancing to the quarters to face Ultima Dino Queen. Oh, that could be an interesting match. Let's have a look at our bracket things. So, yep, yeah, our quarter first quarterfinal matchup. We'll see Ultima Dino Queen going up against Nopi. Alrighty then, stay tuned for next time, where we will see Slifer Sky Dragon X taking on tour. And then Laos going up against Aladar. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.